My previous relationship slash marriage was really horrible. Um, when my current husband and I got together, I told him that I wasn't into sex and it's been a negative experience for me. Can this be fixed? Uh, yes, yes. And the short, the short answer is yes, right? Um, yeah, so oftentimes, like I see, I, I often view sex as like, it's kind of like a temperature reading on the relationship, mm -hmm. right? So when the relationship is bad, sex is going to be bad because you don't feel connected to that person, right? You can't, it's often really difficult, especially for women to connect physically when we haven't connected emotionally. And so if the relationship was really bad, it doesn't surprise me to say, to hear that sex was bad as well. And so first of all, just being able to have like true safety and like, and romance, you know, in a relationship again, like thank God that you found someone, right? Thank God that you found someone that you feel safe with and that you are willing to do life again with. Um, and I would say like, let's hold hope. Let's hold hope that because this person is different, like sex, that sex can be different too, right? Mm -hmm. um, and so, yeah, I would definitely say that. Um, and then I would also say that, you know, yeah, like let's, let's hold hope for different. Um, and also if that is not enough, like if that, if just the relationship is being different, isn't enough, you know, if we, again, emotional safety often means that we can be like more adventurous in the bedroom, right? So the more, the more safety that we feel emotionally, the more connected that we feel, the more we see, feel seen and heard and understood, then like the guard comes down, right? And when the guard comes down and then that like opens up play oftentimes and that can come out like in the bedroom. And so that is, would be my hope for you. And then if that, if that's not the case, right? If there's issues kind of beyond that um, and you, you find that there are more issues then, you know, we are, we have trained sex therapists uh, certified sex therapists, and we're all, you know, trained to do sex therapy. And there are definitely more interventions that we can uh, walk with you through to be able to take care of that. But like, know that like, <laughs> sex is a gift from God. It truly is. And so it, you're not meant to have like a terrible sex life, like God gave you sexuality. And so let him redeem it, let him have it back. And, um, and he wants good for you. Yeah. Oh, so encouraging. I would love to know just what you would kind of recommend um, to this woman asking this question, just in starting that conversation with her, her current husband, you know, how do you open up that conversation? Um, maybe some, some tips that you would give her in talking through it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So I would say, um, you know, just starting, starting with story. Um, I say that because you know, if we say, if any woman says to a man, and this, this is, you know, if, if any, if any person really says to another person, like, hey, we're going to get married, but we're never going to have sex, like, that's going to be difficult, especially for a man to be able to kind of reckon with. And so I would say start with story, because, um, because story builds compassion, it builds empathy, right? If he can understand where you're coming from, then he's going to be much more inclined to be gentle and to be safe and to be understanding, right, in this process. And so I would say, yeah, like, let's, you know, just kind of, again, I keep saying this, but like, open up your heart, you know, to your spouse, because um, when they can hear the story and they can understand, um, then they'll understand the protection, right? Everything is, a lot of times, oftentimes when I'm working with couples, everything kind of boils down to either vulnerability or self-protection, right? You really can't have both. Life oftentimes has taught us just to protect ourselves and taught us not to be vulnerable, but the way to connection is vulnerability. Mm -hmm. And so we cannot be, you know, we can't stay in both of those places at the same time. And so go to that vulnerable place with your spouse, let yourself really be kind of seen and understood so that that self-protection can come down and you and your spouse can kind of work together towards that. Um, so yeah, start with the story. And then, you know, my hope is that your new loving spouse is going to be understanding and just take things slow, right? Just really take things slow um, in terms of, you know, letting yourself be, be a sexual human again, right? Let it kind of opening that up again. Um, and so really moves, moving slowly through that process is really going to be necessary for you to feel safe. Um, and whatever that, whatever that looks like, whatever feels good for you, like just start there and then build from that place.